sometimes if you're just being with somebody, you might make more connection with somebody than trying going crazy with somebody. Having you're trying to go to visit somebody, having so many crazy plans, and you get having so many disagreement about what what those plans are, and getting fight and getting stressed out and tension, end up trip, no connection, big fight. How many times you have done that? I saw a witness one time, this couple in a cafe. Looks like a couple, but I don't know for sure. There are, I cannot feel much of sense of being in them. There are, the energy is very much doing things and uh, going somewhere. And the discussion was very much way to eat tonight. They have talked at least one hour there. <laughs> and every time, every word they use, every fa fa facial expressions they made was quite stressful. <laughs> and they, as, as the con conversation went on, and there were, there were places where they were like disagreeing, arguing about one's favorite place is not the favorite place of the others. I don't know if they ever went for dinner that night. <laughs> but it was, it was painful to hear the conversation. What they're trying to do? I'm sure they look like a, they're not like a homeless or they don't have enough to eat. It looks like a, they, they, they eat a lot. but not much nourishment from those foods. <coughs> because end of the day, food is also about making connection. It's not about food itself. It's the process of being together, connecting. That matters more than the actual the substance itself. I remember one time in, in back in Memory Monastery, this Tibetan family who came from Tibet, but they had nothing, they didn't have nothing in their room there. They were so happy in that little room, the boiling water and some dry bread. They said, just come in, come in, sit down, sit down. They're just making this boil, boil, boiling water and some put, bread, put out some dry, leftover dry bread. So much joy in that dry bread. So much joy in that uh, warm water. So much joy. Those matters. So what I'm trying to say here is this sense of being, we can sometimes, for sure, most of the time, but we might not be able to see most of the time, but I'm trying to encourage to see how many times we can accomplish more by not doing anything. I mean, I don't, I don't know, you may come, how, how, is, how does that happen? Of course, you're always, you're always I, I don't mean like you just sleep in the, the, in the kitchen, the miracle lunch will be cooked. I don't mean that. <laughs> we are always in interrelationship as a community, as a world. Imagine Donald Trump will not do much, say much, will, the more things will happen in the White House. Same thing I'm trying to say is, is that same thing that if, if, if our pain body and the pain speech and pain mind, it's not activated more, those space, those silence, those spaciousness will allow surrounding to figure out its own collective intelligence to figure out the solution. Your, if your pain will not interfere that. A lot of great things can happen. A family member who, who represents the pain of the group, or at least stronger part of it, if that pain body remains more silent, more still, more spacious, 
there will be more natural healing. It will take natural healing process of collective intelligence. Because intelligence, the energy always moves. And it always knows where to move. It always does the right thing, except there is somebody who interferes that natural flow of that. And we are some very often ourselves. I know clearly myself. I can be obstacle. So sometimes it's just better to remain, do nothing. Allow, witness, be aware, but not interfere. So that, that sense of doing nothing has something to do with sense of being. 